Lauren, there are more than 600,000 people who have signed the petition. They are all part of Florida's public record. And the group who put them online says, says it's an effort to make Floridians aware. The proposed amendment bans more than just gay marriage. With a couple strokes of the keyboard and a couple clicks of the mouse, anyone can see who has and has not signed Florida's petition to ban gay marriage. The 649 Floridians who've signed on the dotted line are listed at knowthyneighbor.org. John Schubert says he put the list together because the group backing the ban, Florida for Marriage, hasn't been truthful in its campaign. It goes far beyond just gay marriage. It addresses uh, civil unions and domestic partnerships as well. To find out who signed the list, it's as easy as entering a last name or county. Under Florida law, it's all public record. Do you think some people will be surprised to know that their names are now on a website? Yes. Yes. Leon County's Supervisor of Elections agrees. Most Floridians are not aware that when they sign a petition, their names are in fact available to be seen and scrutinized. We went to ask person after person after person. After person who signed the petition if they knew their names were available for all to see. But were unsuccessful. Schubert says he compiled the list after calls from people who simply didn't realize what they were signing. I got lots of phone calls from people who said they don't believe in gay marriage, but they don't have a problem with civil unions. Now, Florida for Marriage says its campaign has been honest. We've linked to the website at WTXL.TV if you want to check it out for yourself. Now, there will be a forum to address gay marriage tonight at the Leon County Public R Library. It runs from 7 to 8.30 tonight. I'm Alex DePrado, ABC 27 HD.